This is San Juan del Sol, Nicaragua. in your state guys i gotta be up front with you although it was exciting that i can now put another country onto my passport and i can have bragging rights that i've been to a country that not many other people been to the fact that this was such an unknown was the intimidating part of me being into nicaragua as i got off the tika bus i thought the tika bus was going to go straight to merengua and then i was going to have to take a separate bus back down to san juan del sur which is an upscale beach town quiet area of Nicaragua. A lot of wealthy people go there and tourists tend to go there too in my research. So I felt everything was going to be fine by the time I got there, but the process of getting there, the journey to getting there was an intimidating factor. As the bus driver said, hey, I can let you off here on Rivas. And Rivas, that would have been like 30 minutes, 30 to 45 minutes for me to take a chicken bus from Rivas, Nicaragua, the hood, up into San Juan del Sol. But the second I got off there and I was approached by some, I would say hustlers, smugglers, I'm not sure smugglers, but hustlers, you know, the, think of like Colombia hustlers. I was a little kind of intimidated because once again, this is a brand new territory. I didn't prepare for anything, but I did prepare for how to handle yourself in case something happens. So yeah, I got off the bus, the second I got off the bus, the guy was, you know, yo, yo, amigo, amigo, where do you want to go? And at first, I'm like, nah, I'll figure it out. My first plan of action was to go into a store and post up against the wall, because I wasn't sure what was going to happen. Granted, I have no interactions with Nicaraguan people at this point yet. This would be after the trip here and me returning to Costa Rica. That's when I started to meet more Nicaraguan people. But this was the first time I had interactions with Nicaraguan people, the country. I wasn't sure how this was going to play out. On top of that, it was a rainy day. It was cloudy. The atmosphere didn't just didn't feel right for me to be welcomed into the country. So I was a bit taken aback, you know, a bit on guard, staying on my P's and Q's. But I said, yeah, whatever. I, I, he asked where I wanted to go. I said, yo, bro, I'm going down to the bus terminal. And, I, <laughs> and me trusting, like, like, all right, bro. He said, yeah, I'll take you. I said, you sure? Yeah, I'll take you. I'm like, all right, bro. I'm like, well, I'll just put my camera up. As you can see, I was trying to be incognito. So my hands was on the, the rails. I've never actually ridden the, this type of a bike taxi before, though I know New York City has something similar. But yeah, I, I had my phone on my lap, somewhere, like, somewhere near secure, so no one can rush it. So I can record pretty much the, uh, the people as, as I'm getting taxied from the bus station, from the drop-off point from Tika bus into the bus terminal where all the quote-unquote chicken buses are. This was quite a unique experience as I'm here now navigating and going all around. And this is my first business transaction that I did in here in Nicaragua. So when we pulled up to the bus terminal and he said this is a stop, more or less from their money it cost me like a dollar to get taxied from where I was to over here. So I wasn't complaining. He could have charged me a whole lot more, but... He charged me what he charged me, and, you know, I started to feel more comfortable seeing other people around, seeing the business people. It didn't seem as malicious as my brain was telling me, yo, Nate, be on guard. But, yeah, after that, he was telling me where to go.
Alright All right, guys, yo, so I'm in Rivas, Nicaragua right now, and I'm at their bus terminal. Um, they use, they use um, school buses to get around, bro. It's, it's, it's real. So I made it into Nicaragua right now, but I'm in um, Rivas right now. This is the uh, transfer point from here to um, the Sur, bro. It really looks like a developing country for him. <laughs> streets is real, man. I had a Sarmi mug in there. <laughs> That's how you know. That's how you know. I had a Sarmi mug in just, just to protect myself, man. Oh, man. But yeah, so I'm in a school bus that's going to go to Del Sol. And there's buses that go to other areas are here in um, Nicaragua. So... I don't want to record people, bro. I don't want no smoke. So he's just gonna look at me. And you just know that I'm in the school bus. I think all y'all are sleeping on Nicaragua. Y'all need to wake up. We are here at Lago Azul Restaurante. Oh, muchas gracias. We got ourselves a pina colada. Well, not pina colada. <laughs> we got ourselves a pineapple lemonade drink mix. And I'm happy because I'm looking at these prices and it just makes me smile inside. Basically, basically, lobster is for 16 US dollars. Give me two plates. Give me two plates. Give me two plates. Blue Lake restaurant, bro. And I'm looking at the menu and I'm like, yo, it, it doesn't look so bad, bro. Oh, let me ask him that. Let me ask him for a seafood soup, bro. I'm, I think I'm, I might go a little ham today. See, see, this is why you come to places with prices cheap, man. I might go a little ham today. I think I'm gonna try. Seafood soup was looking pretty solid, man. I'm gonna ask him about it. We got the fast food, the beef. I like it. And then the drinks is in the back. Wait, are you telling me I can get a margarita for like $3? Wait. A margarita is three dollars, bro. Wow, ain't that crazy? Yeah, yeah, and, I, and I'm getting the soup. Freak that. I'm telling you, man. I, I didn't want to go ham in Costa Rica because the price is kind of crazy. But here, man, man, get me ten plates. Get me ten plates, man. So whenever I go to a beach town, I always have to try out the seafood. That is just like my thing. I don't know. It's like the theme is. It's a theme. Beach town, you gotta try it. So I got this nice uh, platter that I got. It costs $16 American. This is what we got. Mm. Got my small plate of rice to go with it. I'm waiting for my seafood. I wonder if he remembers it. But man, yo. Solid, man. I'm salivating looking at it. The shrimp. It's got the small soft, the small soft shell crabs. Man, and some fish and some white sauce to go with everything. I kind of OD'd a little bit, yeah. I kind of OD'd a little bit. I kind of OD'd. Oh, it's sunsetted, but I kind of OD'd, man. Look, seafood soup, seafood plate, white sauce is slamming. Kid you not. Mmm. Mm. Good white sauce, man. It's like you got, you got, it's like a clam chowder with bacon in it, man. Oh my gosh. Mmm. Like, what the heck, man? It's so good. Mmm. <laughs> Fresh shrimp, man. I'm happy I came to Nicaragua. Nah, son, real talk, man. Something about this seafood that slaps hard, man. The shrimp tastes like it did come out the ocean, man. Clam chowder slaps hard, too. 
such a beautiful combination, man. Solid, man. I ain't even got to soup yet. But I did kind of OD, though. Happy. Happy, man. Full smiles here. Full smiles so far. Yo, the seafood soup, it's solid, man. It, it has a big piece of red snapper in it, too, bro. This is a seafood soup, man. Got the crabs in it. Got everything in it. Wish you were here, man. Oh, man. The broth is amazing, too, man. It's salty, creamy. It tastes like the verge of like a clam chowder, but you got the fishy taste, so it's like drinking fish tea. Solid. There's a dog next to me, too. It's a stray dog. Fix my hat, adjust my hat, make sure I'm looking good for the camera. What's going on, y'all? This is Nate from Nate Real Estate. Back at you with yet another video, guys. Let me tell you something, man. I'm somewhere where I never even expected to be. It's first time here. Um, my first morning, I came here last night. Really exhausted and I was bringing all the pages, so I didn't feel the need to really record anything. Get what I'm saying? But today, we are out and about. And let me introduce to you where Nate Nate and you'll say there's that. Let's go. San Juan de Sur, Nicaragua. It is totally awesome. They got the crystal ray all the way up there. Right? And there's like a lot of boats. I'm not sure if they're fishing or just people just chilling. I see some other boats out there. But if you just look around the whole perimeter, it's, it's a nice view. Right, people walking, uh, family friendly, and you know, you got your tourists here every now and then too. And let's see, what does this thing say? The government, ah, oh geez, a reconciliation of the national unit unity. This is the, the town president. I can't read the rest of it, and I'm thinking I'm being a little lazy and trying to translate it. But there you go. I know someone's going to translate it for me. All right, we getting the day started. I mean, let me stop by the bank because I gotta figure out a way to get back. Get here, they wanted U.S. dollars, which is the national trading global currency when it comes to crossing the border. But they have their own currency here, which. I seem to have a problem pronouncing it. I'm just gonna ask another local to help me pronounce it. Cordobas, Cordoba, or I say Cordobas, Cordobas. I heard Cordobas and I heard Cordobas. So I'm like, okay, uh, how do I say it? I don't know, we'll figure it out. Oh, we yeah, have enough about me. Here. It is nice. The bank is up here. I'm gonna have to ask. Like, how do I get out of here just in case? You know, the guy said it's a 20 minute walk and I throw myself into that jungle. You see what I'm saying? And I have to record. So I'm taking this day to like explore because it's, it's nice and sunny, weather is good. Look, not a cloud in the darn sky. Current temperature right now as it is Current temperature now is at 9.48 a.m. It is, we're looking at like 85 degrees. Budget and our pieces over here if you want to rent a vehicle. So we're looking at 85 degrees Wednesday at 9.48 a.m. As we get our walk on. And we're always walking today, you know? I always walk. So my feet's a little sore from all the walking. But we'll figure out what to do. It's cool to know that there's a bank here. And one of the buses is there, which loops around. It's also good. It's good. It's good. Got the national thing. Buenas. Si, si, si. Buen dia, buen dia. Como amanices? Bien, super bien. Todo bien. Todo bien. Me alegro, me alegro. Si, señorita. We are going to explore a little more we've got a conversation with this over here all right mark twain okay cool that's good to see doing some touristy stuff i'm still heading over there 
Oh, Rockside Beach. Yo, I'm telling you, man, this spot is fire. I'm, I'm telling you, if you move at another angle, you take pictures, y'all, it's fire. Fire. I'm telling you, man, the view is fire, man. What does this remind me of, man? Look. Look. Man. Oh, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Twans? Twenties? Twenties, I'm going to take pay a visit to you. I see sushi. It is not local cuisine, but I kind of like me some sushi regardless where I go. Let me tell you, I want to walk. I don't want to go too deep. I also want to do 360 for y'all. Because I, I think I think you guys will benefit. Oh, this is a walking area. I can go inside. 20s, I see it. Um, yeah. <laughs> Heck yeah, man. Let's go, man. Let's go, man. Go in some place. That's all, man. Go in some place brand spanking new, man. And you like the only person of your kind there. Ah, man, you are very noticeable. And I think it's pretty cool that so far people are chilling with me, right? Um, so I think that's the, what, the mountain walk? The mountain walk, and here's the plaza. Uh, the bank is here. Well, let's see if I can go into the bank. Because last night I'm like, eh, a little too dark. I don't want to go too much into here. So I'll explore in the morning. Here's the morning. Oh, dollars over here too. So this is a big popping touristy spot with all these car rental spots. Uh -huh. So it's like, I'm like, why have I never heard about how, what, like Porto, the port of San Juan itself, the port of South San Juan, right? So I'm like, yo, why haven't I heard of this spot, man? It's, it's like, okay, let me go into the bank. Let me go. Why haven't? Like, yo, you look on YouTube, you don't see nothing, bro. So that's why I want, wanted to come to, like, at least Nicaragua and check out some spots. Because, like, you don't hear nothing, man. There's nobody really making noise. So I was planning this for a hot minute. I was like, yo, how am I going to do this? How am I going to do this? Got to go to Costa Rica and then cross the border. I was doing a whole elaborate plan. But, I mean, hey, times happen. I couldn't really execute it. Um, I think one other guy was just over here. But... Yeah, man, I've been really pondering how to get over here for a minute, but you know, finally here, man. But let me go on the bank. Let me see. Let me see. Um, I'm trying to get something sorted. Yeah, as I was saying, bro, it's like I don't hear nobody talk about this. And if you do, you probably only see it in the blog. But in terms of like the YouTube space, nah, it's like almost non existent finding content about Nicaragua. So let me talk to you guys real quick. Let me tell you guys about pulling up over here, all right? If you're gonna come here, all right? You're only gonna hear from this channel and then every other channel preceding this channel. All right, let me take a seat. All right, so I am in San Juan de Sur. I'm gonna put up a map so you guys can see what I'm talking about. I crossed the border called Peñas Blancas. Hey, don't laugh, okay? Called Peñas Blancas. That's the, that's the border between Costa Rica and Nicaragua. I took a bus company called Tika. So now with Tika, it's a, it supposedly goes straight to Managua, but I got off at a small municipality called Rivas, though the area I'm in is Rivas, but Rivas, Rivas. <laughs> the city of Rivas within the district of Rivas, even though I'm in San Juan de Sol, I believe this is still kind of within the Rivas district. Correct me if I'm wrong, Nicaragua. Yeah, I got off. I hopped on a chicken bus, as they'll call it, and that should cost you 50 quarter bus, right? Which is more or less in between a dollar to two dollars. It's inexpensive. The second you leave Costa Rica, things get significantly cheaper, and I kind of bugged out. Oops. <laughs> and I kind of bugged out last night when I went to one of these restaurants, and they was giving me lobster and all of this, and I got like two plates of like, I got lobster, I got seafood soup, it had everything in it. Cost me only forty dollars. We're in the states. If you're thinking about lobster, you're already thinking about thirty dollars plus or forty dollars plus for just one plate. I mean, granted, it wasn't super huge, but yo, I think when things are significantly cheaper, your appetite opens up more. Whereas, I'm still complaining about that forty dollars I spent on pizza in, in, in Costa Rica. I will never, yo, I'll never get over that, man. Whereas, the second I come over here, full beach town, man, where you know things like. 
pricey. I think this is where the locals will get big cake. But you know things are going to be like uptake in price and all that. Didn't even hurt the bank, man. So um, maybe they're keeping it low key because they don't want a lot of people rolling up here. Yeah, I wouldn't know. But honestly, I stand out anyway. I have a beard. The locals here don't have beards. I am very tan, you know, even though the locals are tan. But, you know, what I'm basically saying is I am a tall black man here and you know, I'm not there. Occasionally I get the nickname from some of the locals. They call me Big Black Man because, you know, I've got a little bit of a gut or a big man. You know what I'm saying? They say, well, some of them call me out in English. Oh, black man or like, big man. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, well, all right, whatever. You get to see a brother. You know what I'm saying? Where you can see brothers in Costa Rica. You see them all over, especially if you go to Limon. It's not uncommon to see the um, brothers in... Um, Costa Rica. Look, no, I'm, I'm just kind of looking at something. I'm sorry. Look at that view, man. You see that? You see that, man? I'm just, I'm trying to figure out if I want to go explore over there. The crystal ray is over there. I'm going to go over here or something like that. But, um, yeah, man, I'm, I'm just going to go for a little walk. You know what I'm saying? If I'm in imminent, imminent danger, I'll, you know, let y'all know. But so far, I mean, people here, I had no problems with the locals so far i mean everybody's cool the spanish i'm i think i'm having a little trouble grasping their spanish it is a little bit on the fast side but it's still understandable with me not being strong in the listening part though they speak english this torsi or area is torsi zone though they speak english it'll behoove you to at least learn something man because not everybody's going to speak your language you speak their language it's out of mutual respect especially if you're trying you get what I'm saying? So yeah, man, don't don't feel discouraged or anything, man. It's pretty legit, all right? So I'm going to see how further I could go. See, see where I can go. Yeah, man. Plaza and all of that. Good wolf. Buenos dias. All right, so he didn't want to say nothing. I mean, hey man, it's it's a little bit it's different. Some people will, will greet you, some people don't. But I mean, hey, I I I will just say I do look different than a lot of them, so it's it's cool whether they greet me or not. You just sometimes you just never know. And I'm gonna go on the street too. And the roads is up there. Do I even want to get lost today? I don't even know if I want to get lost today. You know, so everything is so different to me. Alright, let me let me not superly stand out. Do I wanna walk down or walk up? Let's see. I see you. Yeah, I see you. Got the cameras here. I'm not <laughs> that much of a tourist, but um <laughs> we're gonna go down some streets, we're gonna go down the avenues, we're gonna do a couple of dual things. I feel relatively okay here, so that's why I'm kind of bugging out a little bit with like all the little gear in my hand, but I think I'll be all right. I'm not gonna say never say never, but I don't think they're gonna trouble me as much. I do wanna walk the beach though. What we gonna do after all of this, I'm gonna put my shoes up and we're gonna walk the beach. Camera in hand and all that. Who knows, I probably might add this 360 video to this main video, right? Where we're going down the regular streets filming I, I don't know where this came from like if there was a tree over here someone need to let me know definitely it's cool cool vibes cool weather it's more people don't talk to me white people don't talk to me i don't it's it's cool man it is what it is i'm i'm in your spot <laughs> i like jamaica where some people want to say what's up some people and a large majority don't so i mean it is what it is yeah I'm blowing up your spot. What are you going to do about it? I'm here already. So what? Oh, I need San Juan. Oh, we're in the Caribbean. Yeah. North side. Puerto Cabeza, Port. Okay. Yeah. How is it there? What brought you over here? Yeah. No, well, I used to work on fishing first time here. Okay. Young, when I was young. Right, right. When I went uh, fishing, start fishing from Yan, and went to Costa Rica, meet a girl from here, come back again here. Okay, that works, that works. <laughs> <All> <laughs> that right. works. All right, so let me see what you got in your Where you come from? 
Oh, Costa Rica. Came Costa from Costa Rica. Rica. Right now? Yeah, yeah. I just came from Costa Rica, so I I'm was, just. I was in Punta Arena. Which part you was there in Costa Rica? Uh, San Juan, and then just came over through the border by um, Peñas Blancas. I lived long time in Punta Arena working. Yeah. In, yeah, in Caldera I used to work. You yeah. know Punta Arena? No. Don't know Punta Arena. Nice place. Good. Pulper. Look, I don't know a lot because it was my first. Afterward, you go to this place out there, Montezuma. Montezuma. Oh, really very nice to enjoy. Okay. You know? All right. Yeah. So. Have some nice place, but San Juan is good place too. You like it here? Yeah. All right. The best. <laughs> <Ben and Jan. laughs> I hear you. Uh, What's your name, sir? Agi. Hmm? Augusto. Augusto. You hear from him, Augusto, man. Augusto, Augusto I'm going to continue walking, man. I appreciate all it, all right? Enjoy yourself, okay? All right, bless you. Good luck, man. All right, cool. So, there we go. Oh, we got people talking to me. I'm wondering, like, I, I know I stand out, but she's, man, say hi to me, man. I want to talk to you guys, too. She's been getting stares all day, man. I don't know what it is, but hey, man, I'm trying over here, trying to be social, but let's continue going. See, I like that. 2023, Nicaragua. All right. Definitely let me know if I'm being way too touristy, right? I'm gonna go down this block. Uh, okay, cool. Got some nice stuff. I am next to the beach, by the way, just to give you a heads up. I'm going to turn around and stop being extra touristy, but hey, I can handle myself. I think at this point, since nobody want to say hi to me, I can turn the hostile route, too. Sure. I mean, let me be loud into your streets and force you to say hi to me. Sure. I mean... All right, cool. I mean, there's a lot of restaurants and stuff. There's a lot of security, too. So they, this spot, 100% is protected, y'all. So you'll feel safe in the event, like, you know, you're at nighttime and you want to get something and, you know, just security around. A lot of motos, too. I'm not sure if it's rented. I've seen ATVs and all that other good stuff, man. And hey, man, gotta respect the hustle. Hola, todo bien? Si, si, um, esta bien si graba un video? Todo bien, si, si, si. This guy got a whole bunch of good stuff, man. We are like in the area, want to pick up something. All right, amigo. <laughs> so, we go up and down. I think, I think I've been down this block. Not too sure. But um Mexican foods here. Yeah. There's another But yeah, I guess this is what it is. People who live inland, they come inland, they come here, chill on the beach. You know what I'm saying? Just come on the beach and chill and enjoy themselves. But I I'm gonna be doing a loop around really soon. The streets are small, not super overly narrow. We stay lost. Is this a hostel? I don't know, it's a clothing shop. It's a clothing shop. Okay. San Juan de Sol. As you heard it, some people already like it. I haven't been checked yet, G-checked yet on the streets yet. So I'm get more confidence as I'm on the streets a little more. Recording. Until I got G-checked, I'm gonna keep it and keep it going. <laughs> Man, that guy is huge. Super huge. So, bien, si graba un video. Hey, Jake. Muy amable, si? El amable? Okay. Hola. Let's see. What's going on? I don't know. Is he? Jake said, yeah. All right. This guy is a good guy. He's a good guy. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Ciao. All right, so here we go, keeping it moving. You know, some people want to chat, some people don't. But that was cool of that lady, you know. 
wasn't sure how she was going to act, so I was a little bit on the nervous side, but, you know, you know, if you're family, my guard is down. If you, if I think you're going to be a little bit hostile to me. So, like, the way how I operate, if I don't tense a goodbye, you know, I'm like, how they going to act, you know, how they going to respond, but, hey, if you're friendly, we're going to talk. All right, we're going to turn around at this point, because it's starting to look a little bit more dusty and dirt. We got to turn around. And all that good stuff. What else? Yeah, see? Sometimes they sometimes they respond, sometimes they don't. <laughs> but it's all good, man. It's all good. It's all good. Y'all seen it from me though. It's kinda like Do you remember the video I did when I was in Mandeville, Jamaica? And you know, I tried to like approach some people. Maybe because it's they're, they're not used to that. They're a little standoffish. So it's like, you know, I can't really blame them. Because like I said, like I said earlier in my other videos, sometimes they pull up they're like, you know, they're Greek. Or like like when I came here and they, they called me big black man. But you know, I'm a little different. And my size can be intimidating. I can I can I can understand that, you feel me? So I'm not taking it any type of way. I just gotta come here more often, learn the culture, custom. I came this way when I was on the bus. And there goes the bus again. You guys got to see what I see. But we're not going that deep. We're going to turn around. This is where the locals live. Lo locals live further out over there. But I want to show you guys this. All right. We'll keep it moving. As we are going to go navigate through some barrios. We'll come down this way. And then we're going to look around to the right. And then keep this walking tour going. All right? Sheesh. Again, I say it, man. I feel some type of way. Why not? Like I said in the beginning, I feel some type of way, but I mean, it is what it is, you know? I am very different here. But, hey man, it is what it is. Different individual. Let my presence be known. Let them know who I am for the time being. Not bring too much attention to me. Well, it's already too late. I'm gonna go down this one. Pop a right, pop another right, hop back onto the beach. You guys got to see all that. All right, so camera gets it anyway. You know, South Tienda, Sword Tienda, and there's a pharmacy in the right, the left. Depending on where you're looking, it could be the right or left. All right, let's see what this guy's planning. Hostel here. That makes me wonder though. I'm really curious though, really curious. How come some people don't want to say hi to me? <laughs> and some do. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder what the brothers did. Or is it because, okay, Surfside, I like that. Costa Rica, Nicaragua, border. Cool. <laughs> I like it, Mo shot. Uh, yeah, I remember this area. I was over here. And then we go over down there. So, do I want to go down there? I don't want to loop back around and see. We'll see. Buenas, buenas. Some people say hello. Pharmacy. Yeah. I mean, so far, it's so good. It's pretty legit. Kind of can't argue with it, can't knock it. Cool. My question is, where am I gonna wait for the chicken bus? Because I don't even remember what the end of the line is. If I'm leaving tomorrow, I would like to know that. Okay. All right. We can loop around here, do one big loop and get back on the beach front. Graphics. See, man, look at the plate, man. $2 for that plate, man. Come on, man. It's really good. What else? What's that? Si, si, si. Thank you.
No, todo bien conmigo. Mi énfasis es muy, muy transición con el sol. So, pero, pero yo, más o menos es un glasses de sol. Sí, 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 pero es, eh, pero no puedo, no puedo ver sin mi japa, ¿sí? ¿Me entiendes? So. Pero Yankee, béisbol. Sí, más o menos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. ¿Dónde from? A usaros. ¿Vivo acá? Managua. Managua, ah. Oh. Aquí solo trabajo. Sí, 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 sí. Trabajo aquí. ¿Te gusta aquí o te gusta? Sí, me gusta aquí, Granada, Masaya, lugares bonitos. Sí, sí, sí. Escucho mucho de Granada, pero no, sí, no conozco. No, hay, no ha ido. No, 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 no ha ido. Claro, claro. Pero todo bien conmigo mismo. Okay. Chao, chao. Está molando, okay. Sí, 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 chicha. Right. I can hold my own, ya. Yeah. Right. We we cut we cut all those good stuff out. Learn how to fly. Fly in what type of way? Surfing fly? It's a surf town. Um <laughs> Yeah. We're not exposing nobody though, but we're gonna I'm gonna cut that out. I wanna put people on blast. But uh, look, man, houses on the hills, man. You see that? I know I can't be the only one I see this. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> nice. Simon says, Javier's hostel, man. So this spot is really meant for the tourists and all that. Buenas. Todo bien contigo? Todo bien. Si, si, te gusta el camera. Sí, sí, sí. Come to San Juan, the best place. Best, best place. place. around the world, sí. Sí, ya tú sabes. Ya tú sabes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, we got the cloud over here. Uh, Naturaliza. Shoulder, shoulder. Man. Nice. Right. <laughs> Dang. So, they're doing construction here. So, I'm, I can't really, like... You know, but you guys got to see the good stuff. Si, sí, no, no te siento taxi, pero todo bien. Solo un camino en el calle. Perdón? Solo, solo ah, voy a comer. Si, si, me entiendes? Si, 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 clases. Ah, uh, we're gonna walk this way then. We're gonna turn around and walk this way. Sí, 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 cámara también. Cámara. Sí. <laughs> hey, right, cool. I'm getting a warmer reception. I like it. Feed off the energy. It's nice and sunny. All right, cool. So we're going to go on the beach front. We're going to walk that way and come back around. What the mercy? Rosita's hotel office. Okay. Yeah, they know. Sure. As I've already done, made enough noise on the streets. Big black man. Let's see. Is he going to sell me something? Si, todo bien, todo bien. Ah, no gracias. Green flowers, green flowers. Relax. Nah, no gracias. Ah, todo bien conmigo. Okay, sí, okay. chao, 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 chao. <laughs> Man, come on, guys. I'm trying to enjoy the views, not enjoy the uh, digital views. Más tarde, pero es muy, es muy temprano para mí. Muy temprano para mí. Necesito, necesito. Más tiempo. Sí, sí, más tiempo. Como nada más, y luego tengo hambre. ¿Entiendes? Right? Let me remind you guys. Oh shoot, my hat's about to blow off. But the water feels so good, y'all. I cannot explain how good the water feels. As we're going to start walking, once again from the beachfront. Oh, it's such, it's nice and cold. Oh man, guys. So we're gonna start from here and we're gonna go all the way around as I've recorded over there and I gave you guys a rundown. But yeah, we just gonna do a nice uh, ocean walk. You know what I'm saying? Wherever I'm at, I gotta, I gotta double check. I gotta check the map to see where I'm, I am, because I know this is not the Caribbean Sea. This is the uh, the most southern, western part. So I'm, I'm not sure if this is the Pacific Ocean 
or what in particular, but I will definitely let you guys know. I just know that the water feels really good as we start from the end. And we're gonna work our way over there. We'll see how it goes, all right? Y'all ready? I didn't peep this. The other side of the sea, or the ocean, wherever, whichever this may be, there's a nice little lake. Man, so much hidden things that Nicaragua has. What did I step on? Oh, that was a dead fish. Okay. I was wondering what that I stepped on. But yeah, there's, sand's hot. But let me see this real quick. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to dry off my feet. Oh, shade. Thank you. Dry off my feet. And yeah, just keep it moving. But it's a possibility it might be the seawater that transferred over here. Being how that fish came all the way on the shore and didn't make it. So, I wouldn't doubt that this is possibly, you know, salt water too. If it isn't, then it is. That's cool. I don't know, it's hot. Really hot. You know what I'm saying? Nice. Yeah, guys, just the other end of the beach is walking the street. Um, man. I'm walking out of talking fluid. I always have to have speaking fluid or talking fluid with me. Left, did a long walk, sat down for a little bit, and now I'm really feeling it yet again. Like how I was feeling in Costa Rica. But nevertheless, oh, let me get a picture of that. Nevertheless, <sighs> nice. I think that's cool. Nevertheless, I think this spot is pretty chill. Low peak, wink, like it. So we're gonna go walk around, find something. Oh, nice. So we're gonna find something man, to munch on, a drink. Now I'm feeling that sun. I wanna jump in the water now. After doing all of this, guys, I am officially ready to hop in the water. It's a lot of motos going by, but we, we keep doing good. Plaza, Art Plaza, San Juan de Sol, solid. You know what, I think I know where I'm gonna eat. There is a spot that I walked past that had things in Spanish. I don't want them to know. I don't want a gringo menu again. You know what I'm saying, I'm tired of these gringo menus. It's nice, but I want something that makes me feel like I'm at a local area, at least. A little something. All right, a little something. The art's pretty dope though, walking by and looking at this. And that's where other people live. But yeah, man, I'm tired, bro. Everybody's trying to get me in their restaurant. I do want the sushi though, so I might, I might go to that other gringo store. Right. Really good. Oh, I look nice. There we go. Otra. Muchas gracias, señor. Okay, what I do is sushi. Once again, beaches over there, keeping to the theme. So, those, why won't I get one free? Why not? So, I get myself some spicy tuna. You know what I'm saying? Oh no. Okay. I think that's a sugar. Hotel sugar. Rooftop. Fish. Gay God stuff. Oh. So I think I found a 7 Eleven esque shop. We're going to have to get something to drink up in here for sure. Looks like. Hola, hola, hola. Como esta, senor? Oh, super bien, super bien. Si, si, si. Es muy bonito, si. Tienes también bol. 
como sí, sí. para tortuga, para una ensalada, oh. una pasta, un trabajo okay. fino. Como tiene mi esposa, María. Ah, sí, 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 sí. Este es mi lugar, San Juan de Oriente. Ok. Sí, este es trabajo en, en barro, para mm. día. Claro, claro. claro. Sí. sí, sí, sí. Este es como abstracto. Sí. Claro, claro. Sí. ¿Cómo te llamas? Nate. Nate, mucho gusto, Nate. Sí, mucho gusto. Sí, Volcón Nicaragua. Muchas gracias. Marcelo. Sí. Con mucho gusto, Marcelo. Nos vas a llevar un regalito para mamá, familia. Sí, sí, sí. Buen precio, buen precio por ti. Sí, sí, sí. sí. Ando dime, diferente. Dime, dime. Por eso no tengo, no tengo mi cartera conmigo, pero que, que solo un, un, un poco. Un poco conmigo. Dime. How much is this a 20 dollars for ti? 20 dólares, 20 dólares. Oh, Estados Unidos, sí. Unidos. O puedes pagar en Córdoba, no problema. Córdoba, 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 no es problema. Córdoba, 20 dólares. Dime. One dólar, un dólar, uh -huh. es esto, ok. Ya te digo. Muchas personas malas dicen un dólar más dinero. Un uh -huh. dólar, un dólar, 36 sí, Córdoba, ok. Entiendo. Entonces, 20 dólares. Sí, sí, sí. Este es 20 dólares en Córdoba, sí, Nicaragua. Sí. 720 y este te lo dejo en 500 Córdoba. Sí. Ok, la verdad, señor, mira, no tengo mucho, pero un, un momentito. Nate in your state.